Hey, John Dillon here from C3 Academy. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to a tool that's unique to PowerPoint 2010, and that's the Format Painter. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to apply some text effects to text to make it stand out or pop out within your presentation. So if you see the text here, I went through, applied a few different effects to it, like a gradient, an outline, a drop shadow, increase the size of the font, etc. So what I want to do is insert some new text. So I'm going to go ahead and insert text box, click once, add new text. I'll select it all here, turn it white to make it easy for you to see. I want to go ahead and apply the same effects that's applied to this text to the text down here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the text, come up here to home, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the Format Painter, which looks like a paintbrush. In fact, if you hover over it, it will tell you if you copy it once, it'll apply the effects only one time. If I have multiple text boxes I want to apply the same effects to, I will double click it. I'm going to just click on it once. Now you notice next to my cursor, there's a little paintbrush. I'm going to go ahead and just select the text. Now it automatically applied the same attributes, including the size of that text. Now I do want to point out, when it comes to text, I simply could have just done this. I could have duplicated this, and I want to go ahead and hold down the control key on a PC, drag this, and I've made a copy of it, and I can just do this as well and edit it. So both ways will work. Where the Format Painter really stands out is when it comes to shapes. So for example, I added a lot of different effects to this shape simply by right clicking on the shape, coming down here and clicking on Format Shape. But now I have a circle. I want the same attributes of this to be applied to this. Now I can certainly do the exact same thing and hopefully I remember what I did. Because I did many different things here and I did it very quickly. But I'm, I'm happy with this. So I'm going to select it, come up here, click on the Format Paint Brush, come down, click on the circle, and now it's applied the exact same attributes to this shape. One more thing I want to show you in this tutorial is we've shown you how to use the Format Painter. However, if I'm going to use multiple different styles of shapes throughout the same presentation with the same attributes, I can also do this. I'm going to go ahead and just delete the circle. I'm going to go ahead and select my original image, right click it, come down here and set this as the default shape. Now really what this means is it's going to take the attributes assigned to the shape and assign those as the default. So now if I go to insert shape, I'm going to go ahead and grab an arrow. You notice now every time I use a shape tool it will apply the same attributes. Just another option for you to consider to actually streamline the making of your presentation. Well, that's all the time we have. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let us know. But until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your next presentation more engaging. Take care.